Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another behind the scenes look here at the Shippensburg Historical Society. I'm your host, John Miller, the Executive Director, and I have a few artifacts that I thought that I would go ahead and share with you today that we don't always have on display. And the first one being the local timetable for the Cumberland Valley Railroad from 1892. This column here lists all the up trains, meaning Harrisburg to Winchester. This side here is all the down trains from Winchester to Harrisburg. And of course, Shippensburg. Here's Shippensburg right here on this one. So the timetable of departures. And some of you know that I'm from Waynesboro and I have the Mont Alto Railroad time schedule that's right here, which features the branch of the Cumberland Valley Railroad that went through Mont Alto, Quincy, and Waynesboro, and we're connected to Chambersburg. So just a really interesting piece here. Next, if you're into military history, we have a lot of photographs including this one here, which is Company B of the 316th Infantry. And many of these lads were from the area. Taken during World War I. Now this photograph here, I absolutely find fascinating just because of its sheer size. As you can see, it's about, about probably five foot tall. And it features students from the normal and training schools in 1920. So just a fascinating piece of Shippensburg history right here, especially since the college is turning 150 years old. If you're into maps, we have you covered. Here, this is a map from the 18, early 1800s. It's made out of sheepskin, very colorful. We are located right in this area here. It's a great example of early map making. And this, of course, shows the layout of town. If you follow our ABCs of Shippensburg history during quarantine, you'll probably recognize this next piece. And this is the Japanese doll made by sixth graders. Did some conservation work to this when I found it. Just a beautiful example of culture. Next up is a post-Civil War military kepi. It's for a cavalry officer, so you got the embroidered uh, cross sabers here, as well as the officer's chin strap, made from blue wool, bonded leather bill, lacquered, and of course the inside has been finished with polished brown cotton with a leather sweatband. Next is a campaign hat worn from World War I. And this one here belonged to George Stewart. And then the last piece here 
is a rifle musket that was manufactured or made here in Shippensburg by Henry Carlisle. It's approximately a 36 caliber. But look at the detail. A lot of engraving on this. Look at the detail of the stock. Of course, it's missing the hammer, but it is percussion cap. So this is probably going to be an early 1830s, maybe 1840s. even has engravings on top of the barrel here, which is going to be a little hard to see, as well as the gunsmith's signature. And I'm going to come back in and show you the back side. Other than that, I just want to say thank you for watching our short little video today. Um, we'll have more videos like this showcasing more artifacts as we continue in the future. And until then, everybody, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.